running the 10 yard out, running, running uh, speed outs, um, you know, trying to use some rubs, some picks, uh, you know, to, um, to isolate that. You know, what we'll try to do is, you know, we have two concepts that we, you know, we'll rely on. Um, and again, we'll kind of mix, mix and match with where our personnel is going to be. But, uh, you know, if we're in a, uh, you know, two by two set um, and we're getting, we know we're getting man coverage. So if we know that we're getting one high man, yeah. um, you know, if, if it's going to be, um, and, and you know, we, we've done our homework, we figure out what matchup we want to get, you know, we'll work a two-man concept. Uh, we work what we call sword and whip. So sword versus whip. Sword's going to be a slant uh, type concept. The quarterback knows he's going to try to get the ball to the slant. On whip, we're going to try to work a wheel. Okay. Um, you know, so what it is, you can kind of see like uh, a lot of teams are, are kind of getting to these these different picks and rub routes. But on sword, when we call sword, the number one receiver is going to end up running the slant. Okay. Okay. So um, his and, and again press coverage, off coverage, we can run it against both. Um, his job is to try to set up that corner okay. um, to get picked or to get rubbed. Um, so on the sword concept. Really, the the T or the inside the number two receiver is going to try to rub the cornerback. All right. All right. So we're we're going to come off on a vertical release, and his eyes, all right, are outside on, on how the corner is going to play this. Um, the X's job is to try to try to open up his hips and to get him to to, to widen. Mm -hmm. All right. So he's going to look like it's an outside release as he comes off the ball. If it's man coverage, if he's in press press man. Obviously, he's going to work a hand fight. He's going to work a quick release and try to get that get that outside release off the football. Mm -hmm. If he's in a loose man, if he's you know four to six yards off, eight yards off, we're going to come off the football on that angle. All right, understanding that we're still trying to get him to think that we're going to work outside. All right, sometimes it's two steps, sometimes it's three steps. Right, I mean it could be a, a four to five step route. Okay, it's your job to kind of feel how that thing goes. Okay. Um, the number two receiver is going to is going to re, is, is reacting off of the number one. Okay, so his job is is to look at the, the corner as he comes off the football. And again, it, it depends on press man and loose man. As he comes off the football, his aiming point is going to be the upfield shoulder of that corner. Okay. Okay. Um, so what we're trying to do is uh, he's going to end up taking that path to his upfield shoulder. Okay, which is going to allow this number one receiver now. As he expands, as he widens, okay, he's going to stick that that foot in the ground and come back underneath on the slant route. Mm -hmm. All right. Obviously, the nickel or the safety or whichever defenders over number two were anticipating him to now think that 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 guy he's going to continue on a wheel. So we're going to continue. You know, we're we're anticipating him to to chase that wheel route. Is your is your read now the free safety and how he reacts to where the ball is going to get thrown? So the quarterback. Like Okay, it, again, it goes back to cover one. Okay. All right, quarterback knows, right, he's the only guy that can that can make the – it's these two guys' job to get open. Correct. Okay. All right. So we have nothing to do with looking at anybody, you know, figuring out, reading anything. We know we, we called sword, the ball's going to the slant. Okay. His job is to look this guy off. There you go. Okay. Right. So, so we're going to – with his eyes. Straight. Exactly. Eyes through the middle of the field, right? I mean, we, you know, quarterback, we always talk about getting eyes through the middle, right, which is going to either hold that guy, get that guy pedaling, uh, you know, as you start to get a little bit more savvy, hey man, might, might even look off. You know, we can call. Uh, obviously, we'll have a dual concept on the backside, whether we call it a Z comeback or whatever. If we're depending on the protection, if we're keeping the back or the the tight end in, um, those those things obviously change. But when we call sword, we're trying to throw the ball to the slant. So his job is to manipulate the, the free safety in order to give us this space. Okay, if the safety just does anything but backpedal, all right. If he, I mean. He's not going to read and react and come downhill on the slant right now. So we're going to have a window to throw that. They might be a bang bang deal at best. Mm -hmm. um, but if these two guys do their job, quarterback holds the safety. You know, we're throwing the ball into this window. And okay. again, we're expecting pressure. We're, we're calling this because we're you know the wheels coming off the edge and swapping the wheels, shooting the B gap. Um, right now, the wheel would be matched up with the with the tailback if, if it was man coverage. So we've called. You know, we've done our work to to know that. The only thing we need to worry about right now is those two receivers doing their job and the free safety, right, staying put. You can also hold that wheel some sort of play action. Correct. I assume. Yeah, I mean, a in, quick, you know, yeah. you, I mean, it's RPO, you, you can freeze get into, them. into that stuff as well. So, but I think it all, you have to know, you're calling this because you know you have this. Okay. You know, you're not calling this hoping that they come out, you know, in man coverage and it, otherwise, it, it, you know, it isn't what we're looking for there.
to that. Good point, um, good point. So again, the T the T's critical. Uh, the number two receiver is critical because his his job's always going to be different. All right. I mean, depending on how this guy plays it, if he's impressed, if he's off, his aiming point. You're never going to say, "Hey, you're taking three steps and aiming." You know, you, you just got to adjust. Okay. You know, you got to be able to, to read and react on the fly, um, making sure that we we want to tell him. Really, I mean, you're not you're aiming at his upfield shoulder. It's almost like a rip move as you're coming through. All right, and you're just making it look like that's your track to get to the wheel. Um, we tell our guys on the wheel he's going to be top of the numbers. Okay, so as soon as he, you know, as soon as he bypasses that corner. What's up? Yeah, let me just. We, I mean, it's a, this is a one and done for the quarterback, right? right. I mean, we're telling him, you know, he, he's not going to go slant to wheel. We're calling sword and man coverage because we know, hey, we're gonna we're gonna pick that guy and we're gonna have space to get the ball to the slant. Okay. Um, you know, obviously we're expecting some form of pressure. Quarterback doesn't have a, all day back there, so I tell him, you know, there might be one out of a hundred times where if the sword's not there, th this guy might be open. But just, hey, let's go. You know, okay. and that's that. Get, I mean. High school football, one of the worst rules, quarterback can't throw the dang ball away. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We get in situations, but, you know, I try to teach them good habits. I mean, they, they understand the timing of what this is going to take, you know, whether we're coming off a of fake and, and action. Um, if that sword's not there, if they get banged, if the defense freaking clogs it up, hey, man, freaking let's go, second and ten or whatever, you know. Um, and, and, again, when we, when we get into the two-man concepts, we're calling it because we, we think it's there. We think that's that's where the ball's going to go. So, um so we work that, you know, if we if we got if we know we're going to get a high percentage of man coverage that mm -hmm. week, obviously this will be an emphasis in our individual drills um, throughout the week with the quarterbacks and the receivers, you know, getting the DBs involved with that um, to try to to try to simulate that, and then you know it might be a, a once or two play call during that game. Yeah. Um, the the other one with sword and whip, whip is going to be a wheel route, so it's going to be kind of the same principle with the two man uh, with the two receivers, okay. And whether or not, again, with matchups, we if if we think, hey, the corner's a dude, we want to attack the inside guy, or hey, they're gonna you know flip mix and match. Um, with the two man game, if we're going whip, all right, it's the exact same principle, but now the number one receiver is gonna be the the rub guy, the pick guy. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you can still uh, his his role kind of switches with the T, so he's he's again gonna take kind of a vertical release. Could be a slightly inside release, depending on, you know, a lot of times you're not going to get true press man here. You know, he might, and again, that, that number two receiver is off the ball. Um, going back to sword, if, if we thought that we were going to get, um, you know, maybe a hard press on the corner, we might flip these two guys. Okay, um, yeah, okay. so we'll just, we just tell him flip, and the, the, the number two receiver will go on the ball to give him that angle to try to cut off that press. Okay. So again, those guys, and they have some freedom to, hey, they come up and, and that corner is up in your grill mm -hmm. and you want to run sword, that guy might just look and, and back off and the number two will go on. Okay. He knows that, hey, now you got a little bit of a better angle to try to cut that cat off. All right. um, so they can they can play with that. But if we're going whip, all right, now what we're trying to do, red zone, hey, third and you know, third and short or, or second and short, we want to take a little bit of a shot. We know we're going to get some man, man coverage. Um, this cat is going to come off uh, his release, and if he's pressed, that's fine. I mean, you're you're just you got to beat the press. It's almost like you want to, you know, stock block it or get off and, and get your hands on, because his eyes are going to be on number two now. Okay, so now the X's eyes, number one is going to be looking up where, where this cat off is. is. Is he pressed at two yards? Is he at four? Is he at six? Um, and again, that's going to change his angle. So same thing as we talked about on sword. His job is to attack the upfield shoulder. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and make it look like so again you got to be a little bit of an athlete to try to you know get get to where you need to get uh, but as he attacks that upfield shoulder what we're trying to do to allow that to happen okay is number one uh, is going to release vertical number two is going to release vertical also okay okay so and he's going to go vertical as far as he can mm -hmm. all right um, so if we're you know the farther if a guy's playing four to six yards off really like it you know because mm -hmm. now you can really you know, get get vertical three, four steps, mm -hmm. you know, um, and try to get up in there. So we want to try to make this look like we're running a seam, we're running a, a whatever, stick route, hitch route, okay, to, to try to keep the defender, right, backpedaling vertically, okay, mm -hmm. or if he's pounding his feet, you know, trying to, trying to anticipate a release, you know, we want to get up in there, okay, to give number one time to get there, okay, and these guys have some freedom in their splits. Again, they, we talked about they have freedom getting on and off the line of scrimmage. 
I would just, I mean, I, I kind of, you know, once we teach them the concept and rep it and everything else, listen, y'all got to get to where you get to make it work. Okay. You know, um, yeah, we're in a double formation or we're in slot or we're in, um, you know, any type of two receiver surface that's out there. Um, I want them to, you know, to be able to do, you know, get to where they need to get. So as he gets vertical, all right, his job is to try to play off of number one. Gotcha. Okay. So as soon as, you know, he feels one coming and we've set up the, the nickel defender or the, the man cover, mm -hmm. all right, he's now going to break this on that wheel route, okay? So now as he breaks it on the wheel, he's going to stick that inside foot in the ground, and as he starts to go on the wheel, as soon as we clear number one, we're looking for the ball. So it's not a wheel, you know, 20 yards down the field. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it, it can end up being a back shoulder throw by the quarterback. It can be, you know, right on his face mask. We might lead him a little bit down the field with some touch if we can get this corner to hard squeeze you know, on the man, it kind of looks like a slant from okay. number one, All right. you know, so what, and really this is better, whip is better against a, a hard press and a, a not so press number two, okay. you know, so if you get an aggressive corner, right, hey man, we're going to take our best player and we're going to take the aggressive corner and make it look like we're trying to beat you with a slant, mm -hmm. okay, and now we're going to leak this cat out on hopefully a, a lesser of a, a, you know, cover guy after we've set him up on a vertical stem. All right, so if we get that guy, you know, we want him to open his hips and come inside. And now the quarterback is kind of reading, hey, are we going to, do we have room to put this ball on the sideline? Not, not, not as much worried about the free safety, but you're still at the same principle. Eyes through the middle, hold him, right? I mean, you can give a quick look off if you need to, um, depending on where we're at on the field. If it's left hash, you know, ball in the middle, whatever. Um, and then again, we're throwing this ball to, to space. So if he, if he, as he's coming off this, this rub and we get that look, you know, you're going to get the corner because the corner's looking inside. He's mm -hmm. going to see the ball get thrown, so mm -hmm. he's got speed, turn and go. Um, so do you need to put it up here? Do we put it? Do we throw it right to him? Do we lead it towards the sideline where the you know the guy's going to end up kind of either opening up to catch the ball or whatever? So though, we try to rep those three different catches. Okay. Whether, I mean, obviously right to him is easy, but the the you know the back shoulder type throw as he's working to that wheel, uh, and then the down the field throw. So we tell him again, his aiming point is going to be top of the numbers. So that gives them some space to, to try to work towards that sideline. I know it could be an obvious question with a with an easy answer. Mm -hmm. um, even though you're 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 working a free safety, does mm -hmm. his alignment dictate the throw that you're going to make? One hundred percent, yeah. So okay. if if you know if we're in the middle of the field, right, mm -hmm. and he's over the ball, yep. we have more space. If we're on the left hash right here, okay, and we've put the two receivers to the field, mm -hmm. and this this joker's in the middle of the field, okay. well now it's a little bit longer throw. You know, now you, and he's kind of, you know, taking that away. Right. So, yeah, I mean, you want to, that might be a, a deal where, hey, we get a great look. Quarterback can kind of see that safety going. He mm -hmm. knows where, our, where we're going. Hey, we just got to drill this towards the sideline. Let's get the completion and then see, you know, see what happens in the open field with those okay. guys. Okay, okay. Um, but those are just two, you know, two rub, whatever you want to call it, concepts pretty popular that I think, you know, a lot of, a lot of the teams are running, um, you know, to try to, get your guys to, to work off of man coverage. Again, when you when you get that, it's not in a big elaborate formation, it's not a big elaborate, you know, progression or read or anything. It, it's a one and done. Okay. You know, so if we call whip and we're on the twenty five yard line going in, just put it, you know, throw it to the cheerleaders, let's go. Okay. You know, it didn't work. Okay. Um, uh, we're not getting into a whole whole lot of, hey, what if this, what if that? Hey, they're gonna gamble in man coverage, we're gonna gamble with our play call. Mm -hmm. If it works, let's go. If it doesn't, hey they got it, let's get to the next one. Okay.